Hi all, in this video we'll be seeing 10 useful tricks on MAC numbers. So let's say we have a series of data, uh, 10, 20 and 30. And now when I select all these cells, I see a yellow circle here. Hold on to it and pull it down. You'll see the series being filled on its own. And now if you want to change the font color of all the cells in a column, you don't have to select it cell by cell. Instead, you can just select the column header and then you can change whatever you want to. Suppose if I want to increase the font, I can. If I want to change the font color to yellow or anything that I want, you can. And suppose, uh, you want to multiply each number with uh, with say a constant and display the results in in the neighboring cells then we don't have to you know apply the formula for each and every cell instead just press on equal to and the formula bar appears select on the cell that you want to apply the formula to and multiply it with a constant say 10 you'll get the result here and similarly just press on to the yellow circle and pull it down and you'll see the results being displayed here okay now if you want to copy the style of one cell to another cell then just click on a cell go to format copy the style and go to the other cell and paste the style and now just uh, bring the yellow circle down and then you'll see the same style in these cells too and now if you want to create a shortcut for a for a big word say monster if if you want to type m and then you want monster to replace that letter then go to numbers go to preferences go to auto correction and here you can actually create a shortcut so i want monster to replace the letter m and uh, just close it and then type the letter m and you can see that monster has replaced the letter m and now when uh, when a cell is usually filled up with a lot of lines You can see that the width of the cell keeps increasing and some people might not like it So to avoid that you can simply remove the checkbox here near wrap text in cell and You'll see that the content has overridden on the neighboring cells too and now if you select uh, a couple of cells you see that there are quick calculations done here sum of selected cells is 550 the average is 55 and the minimum of the selected cells is 10 and so on so if you just want the sum cell to be uh, over here at the end of all the cells then you can just drag and drop it down here so it's really simple to you know have calculations down here and now if you want to sort down this particular column just uh, click on the down arrow near the column and if you want to sort it uh, in the descending order click on descending order and you'll see all the cells sorted down in descending order now if you want to create uh, or you know insert random numbers in a couple of cells and just click the cell and enter equal to the formula bar appears and enter r a n d select ran between and enter the range let's say 10 and 999 a random number in the given range is created here and if you want it for the next 10 cells then just Hold on to the yellow circle and pull it down to 10 cells. 
So you'll see random numbers being generated here. Now suppose if you have a word apple and in the same column when you try entering the same word again you'll be suggested here so you really don't have to waste time entering the same word again instead you can wait for suggestions and click on the suggestion so these are the 10 tricks that you can use on math numbers i hope you found this video useful